Hi folks, Roland Martin. Here's the fish brain tip of the day. How do you choose the right rods for the day? Well, I'm a power fisherman, so I have to start off with my big heavy flipping stick with heavy braid. That's just one rod. Okay, by the same token, I'm allowed to be throwing a big swim bait. Again, another big rod with another heavy braid rod. I don't want to be changing line all the time. A third thing, I fish a lot of frogs. I fish frogs all over the place, and here's a frogging rod. Again, heavy braid, a whole different setup. All heavy rods now. What about spinner baits? You know I do, do the spinner baits all the time. Here's a spinner bait rod. It's a little bit lighter. It's got braid, big heavy spinner bait. That's just four rods. Five rods, a top order. Again, you can use 20 pound monofilament or even a light, uh, light braid like I have here. A Carolina rig rod, a big long power, powerhouse seven and a half foot flipping stick for, for, uh, for Carolina rigs. A crankbait rod. And finally, a spinning rod just to throw a Cinco with. Now that's seven or eight rods, and that's, that, isn't even, that hasn't covered the different kinds of crankbaits. That hasn't covered the different kinds of swim baits that I'd be using, say, here in South Florida. Now, that's, say, 10 or 12 rods. If I were fishing out west and I had the good clear water, I might be drop shotting way down in the deep water with four or six pound line. You'd need a smaller spinning rod. You'd need some smaller worm rods. You'd need some lightweight casting rods for the smaller little top orders and the spinner baits that you might throw. So again, that's another six or eight rods. So possibly, I might need as many as 20 different rods and reels if I'm gonna really fish like I ought to fish. So that's the fish brain tip of the day. Have a bunch of rods for a lot of different reasons.